Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create new Zoho Books customer from Google Sheets automatically. Let's first understand what are these two applications all about. So, here Google Sheets is an online spreadsheet program where you can create databases in the form of spreadsheet and Zoho Books is an amazing software which can perform multiple accounting tasks right from negotiating deals to raising sales order and creating invoices and various other tasks. So let's suppose I am a business person and I get details of various persons into my Google Sheets from different different sources. And now what I want to do is I want to create customers into my Zoho Books account from the same data available into my Google Sheets. So here I'll have two choices. The first one is I have to collect all the details from Google Sheets and then manually create a customer into Zoho Books. But what if I want to create multiple customers at the same time? It is going to increase my uh, manual work and it is very tiresome. So here I would suggest you to bring in some automation. In this video, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is a third party automation and integration software which will help to transfer the data of Google Sheets into Zoho Books. So here what will happen is whenever a new row will be added into my Google Sheets, a customer will crea create automatically into my Zoho Books account. So the best part of using Pabli Connect is you do not need to have coding skills and programming knowledge. It is actually very easy to use. Let me show you how on my screen. We are going to understand this with a real-time example. So guys, let's understand the process with a real-time example. So here you can see this is my Google Sheet titled as Zoho Books Customer. And this is my Zoho Books account. So here the idea is whenever I am entering any detail in the new row, I want the customer to be created automatically into Zoho Books. So let me show you how. I am entering some details here such as first name, last name, email and all those details. Let me just fill them. So guys, I just entered some details here and now I am expecting that a contact must be created into my Zoho Books account with the details such as first name sam last name george his email is sam g33 at the rate gmail.com so let's check if the contact is created or not so here i'm going on to my zoho books account and i'm refreshing the page till then let's see the customer was sam george let's check here okay here on sales over on customers excellent so now as you can see a uh, Contact for Sam George is created into my Zoho Books account. I just entered the details here and the contact was created. So you must be wondering how did I manage to just create a contact by entering the details into my Google Sheets that too automatically. So I just followed three simple steps to create this workflow and you can also create the same workflow by following those steps. Let me show you what are those steps are. So guys, these are the steps I followed to create the workflow between Google Sheets and Zoho Books. Step 1 is connect Pabli Connect to Google Sheets with the help of webhook URL. So here first we have to log in into Pabli Connect and then we have to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect with the help of webhook URL. So this is an address which is provided by Pabli Connect. We have to so copy the same webhook URL into Google Sheets and then our Google Sheets will be connected to Pabli Connect. The second step is collect the data from Google Sheets in Pabli Connect. It means whenever we are going to enter any data in Google Sheets, it will automatically be captured by Pabli Connect after we connect Google Sheets with Pebbly Connect, the data which we are going to enter in Google Sheets will be collected by Pebbly Connect. And in the third step, send the same data to Zoho Books from Pebbly Connect. Okay, so now as Pebbly Connect has already connect, uh, collected the data of Google Sheets, in the third step, we will send the same data into our Zoho Books account with the help of Pebbly Connect. 
so the gist of the process is first we have to connect pebbly connect with uh, google sheets and then we have to connect pebbly connect with zoho books let me show you how this process is going to be completed on my screen okay guys so to begin with the process first type pebbly.com in your browser pebbly p a b b l y pebbly.com so this is how the website of pebbly.com looks like here hover on products and you can see there are various products available click on connect click on connect after clicking on connect this is how the landing page of pebbly connect looks like so here i am going to click on sign in as i have already made an account in pebbly connect but as you are a new user you can also make your account just by signing up for free in 2 minutes I'm going to click on sign in and then I'm going to continue with the workflow by scrolling down and click on connect access now. After clicking on access now, this dashboard will appear. On the top right corner, here you can see a button named as create workflow. Let's click on this. Okay, so this dialog box just appeared. Basically, it is asking us to give a name to our workflow. So let's give it as Google Sheets to Zoho Books according to our topics. You can give it according to yourself, but I am working on Google Sheets with Zoho, so I am giving it Google Sheets to Zoho Books. Okay, let me correct it. Google Sheets to Zoho Books. Okay. I'm going to click on create. After clicking on create, this window will appear. So here you can see two boxes. The first one is trigger. The second one is action. Let me first explain you what are trigger and action. So basically trigger is when this happens. Action means do this. Automation and integration works on the concept of triggers and action. Here our trigger is when a new row is added. So the action will be create new, new contact in Zoho books. Let me just show you by doing it practically here. So in the choose app, I am going to choose Google Sheets. After choosing Google Sheets, I am going to choose the trigger event. Trigger event here is new spreadsheet row. Okay. So after selecting the trigger event, this webhook URL will be provided by Pabli Connect. So let's follow the step guide provided here. So what it is written? Create a new spreadsheet, then navigate to add-ons and click on get add-ons. Okay, so let's first follow this thing. Create a new spreadsheet. So I'm going again to my spreadsheet account and I already created a spreadsheet into my spreadsheet account. You can also create according to yourself. So here I created a spreadsheet and I titled it as new Zoho book customer. Again, you can create it according to yourself. So here I'm going to add some data. Let's add some data. Okay. Okay guys, so I just entered some details here such as the first name Peter, the last name Parker. His email address is peterparker at the rate gmail.com and these details. So what was the next was? Next is the navigate to add-ons. Okay, so let's click here on add-ons and here we will go on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, it will take you to a page named as Google Workspace Marketplace. Here you have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhooks. Yes, this one. So as you can see, it is already installed in my system. You can also install the same in your system as well. So after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks in your system, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheets. I repeat again, do not forget to refresh your Google, she uh, Google Sheets after installing Pabli Connect webhooks. Okay, so again I am going to click on add-ons. I am going to click on Pabli Connect webhooks and I am going to click on initial setup. After clicking on initial setup, this window will appear. Here you can see two fields, webhook URL and trigger column. So let's first understand what is this trigger column. So what it is written here, trigger column is will be your final data column on which if the data is added, 
the whole of that true data will be sent to webhook url okay so this simply means you have to enter here the last data entry column of your spreadsheet here in my spreadsheet f is the last data entry column so i'm here i'm mentioning f it can be anything else in your spreadsheet according to your data so the uh, next is webhook url so where we can get this webhook url yes i can get it from here this is the webhook url provided by pably connect copy this and after copying this paste the same here yes and then click on send test a message just appeared a test data sent successfully okay so let's check if the yes the response is being captured by pably connect successfully it is the same data which we entered in our google sheet peter was the first name parker was the last name yes these are the same details first name peter last name parker fine so here i'm going to click on submit and now again i'm going on add-ons and i'm going to click on pably connect webhooks this time i'm going to click on send on event why clicking on send on event because from now on whenever i will be entering any data into my google sheets it will be automatically captured by pably connect so we have to click on send on event perfect now again we are going on our pably connect account and then here you can see it is successfully google sheets is successfully integrated with pably connect let's now in the action window choose zoho books okay so here i'm going to choose zoho books okay after choosing zoho books the action event here is create contact create contact and create customer is the same thing so according to our task we are going to choose create contact here you can see various options are available but according to our topic i'm going to choose create contact okay after uh, choosing the action event i'm going to click on connect so here i'm going to make a new connection connect with zoho books so here we have to enter the domain name so from where we can get this domain name okay i'm going to the zoho books page here you can see in the browser window this domain name we have to copy this okay so i'm just copying it and pasting it the same here okay and i'm going to click on done so by this my account will be connected with pably connect yes click on accept and the authorization is successful perfect so after connecting zoho books with pably connect you can see these various fields just appeared and it is asking us to map the data Ma mapping what it is it is basically the data which was captured by pably connect we have to enter the same data here in zoho books so let me show you how it is done so here first it is written organization name so basically what organization here is in zoho books you can create different different organizations for your different task for example if i have four softwares and i want to organize the data of that four software differently i'm going to i'm going to make different different organization so let's and uh, let's see how this can be made here on the option of new organization click add new organization and just you can give a name to a new organization for example here i am give it as pably connect okay it's just for example and business location will be let's enter india okay and i'm going to click on let's get started and by this my organization will be made automatically so if you want to create the organization you can fill all these details but as i have already made the organization for my a workflow i won't be creating a new one i'm just selecting the already existing so here you can see in my account okay let me go back yes so in my account there are four organization magnet brains stack up threadmills union and pably book let's see if the same are available or here or not yes as you can see these are same available in my account as well so i am going to use pably connect 
after choosing pebbly connect it is written here contact name required so let's start mapping the data so in the contact name i am going to enter the first name after space i am going to enter the last name let's match if the same data is available here peter parker okay so the first name is peter the second name is parker so this is how mapping works you have to uh, map the same data which is available here okay so next time going to enter the company name yes the company name we mentioned was ages okay the first name again we are going to map the same data first name was peter the last name was let's enter the data parker his email was peter parker at the rate gmail dot com i did not mention the website here 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 you can see no website is available okay mobile number yes i entered the mobile number okay i'm going to map the same and here all these details are not actually required so i'm leaving them blank you can fill them according to your needs so here in the billing address in the full address i'm just going to mention the address which i mentioned in my google sheet and then i am going to click on save and send test request okay so this means a workflow is created and here the response received is showing the contact has been added so now let's check into my zoho books account if the contact is added or not so here i'm going to my zoho books account okay here we are going to check for this peter parker contact Okay so I'm going to refresh my page close this okay so we have we want to check for peter parker excellent so as you can see i just successfully integrated google sheets with zoho books now you can see this uh, this contact for peter parker the company name was ages yes the company name was ages and his email address as peter parker at the rate gmail dot com so the contact is created now let's check in real time if our workflow is working or not so again i'm going to mention some details here and then we will directly check if the contact is getting created or not so here i'm going to mention some details let me just add here okay okay so i just entered some details here such as the first name jason the last name is matthew and the email is matthewjason at the rate gmail dot com. Okay, so now let's check if the contact is getting created or not. Okay, so again I'm going into my Zoho Books account and I'm refreshing the page. And this time we have to check for Jason Ma Jason Matthew. Okay. Excellent. So now as you can see, our integration is working successfully because just by entering the details here. the contact was created automatically into my zoho books account so let's understand the process first and then we will check once more okay so here we completed the task in uh, in these two simple steps first we integrated google sheets with pebbly connect with the help of this webhook url and collected all the data of google sheets in pebbly connect and then we integrated Pebbly connect with Zoho Books and map all the data in Zoho Books, which was captured by Pebbly Connect from Google Sheets. This means our integration is working successfully, and the data flow between Google Sheets and Zoho Books is perfectly fine. Every time we are adding a new data in Google Sheets, the contact is getting created into Zoho Books. How simple is that? So let me tell you one more thing here is the link of the same workflow is provided in the uh, description box below so from there you can clone the same workflow into your pebbly connect account and use it very easily not just these applications you can integrate plenty of applications with the help of pebbly connect so this was all for today's video if you have any feedback you can contact us at admin@pebbly.com or you can simply ask your queries add this link available here or you can check the pebbly connect price from this link here and if you like our video do not forget to press the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and for more such interesting video you can subscribe to our channel thank you for watching